Okay guys, so today we have a Aqua beatdown deck. Um, there's many, many different ways to run this. I, I just decided to run the cards that I am because I simply like it. I'm going to go ahead and just do an in-depth description and tell you why I'm running it. And then at the end of the deck profile, I'm just going to show you what else you can run. There's a bunch of different options with this deck. It's really fun to play. Um, do not expect to get anywhere past like Platinum Rank 3 or so. Um, that's all it got me up to, but this is just for fun. Um, there are a few expensive cards in here, but you can definitely sub it out for something else, and we'll go over that in just a second. But first, uh, we run two Abyss Soldiers because those... I mean, two because that's the only two that I have. I don't have a third, but I don't think I'd run a third anyways. It could get a little cloggy with this. So once per turn, you can discard a Water Monster, target a card on the field, return it to the hand. It's actually helped a lot. Especially when you have Starboy in hand, you can and you don't need an extra Starboy, you can just discard it. Hammer Shark, we run three. Now, once per turn, you can reduce the level of this card by one. If you do, special summon one level three lower or lower monster from your hand. These are all level three or lower, so you don't have to worry about that. But we do run two legendary oceans just to make Abyss Soldier level three or lower. And then we've got one Butaniful Princess. So, when this card is normal or special summoned, so it's either or, you can banish it straight from the field, and if you do that, special summon a level 4 or lower fish type monster from your deck. Now, you can't special summon any of these guys, they're not fish, they're all just like aqua. Uh, that's a sea serpent. The only thing you can target when you uh, activate this effect is a hammer shark, but if you have, if you open up with hammer shark, princess, and any of these, really, any of these in your hand, it's easy play. So you can normal summon Hammer Shark, special summon Butanifal Princess out by using Hammer Shark's effect. And then when you banish Princess, special summon another shark, activate that shark's effect. It's, I mean, it's a pretty good combo. Uh, to flood the field, you can get three monsters on the field pretty easily. Um, we have, we're running two Atlantean attack squads. Uh, he's a level three, 1400 attack, zero defense. When he's on the field, this gains 800 attack while you control a face-up sea serpent aqua type or fish monster that's pretty much going to happen all the time you're pretty much always going to control another monster so you're set on him <clears throat> then we run two spine gilman all fish sea serpent and aqua type monsters you control gain 400 attack and that's all of your monsters so he's just another power up uh booster the point of this deck is i mean it's beat down so you just you power everything up and then you just power up your opponent so after Gilman, we have Lost Blue Breaker. If there's another face-up fish, sea serpent, or aqua-type monster on the field, you can tribute this card to target one Spell or Trap card on the field and destroy it. It doesn't have to be set, it can be face-up too. Um, I just have him in here just to pop, just to keep popping back row. If you don't let your opponent have back row in this game, they're pretty much not going to win. That's not always the case, but most of the time it is. <laughs> it's, it's really good. It comes in handy a lot. Then we run three Star Boy. You could probably knock, uh, knock this down to two, but as long as this card remains face up on the field, increase the attack of all water monsters by 500 and decrease the attack of all fire monsters by 400. Now that could be really good against Hazies. Several decks that run fire. Nothing really in the meta so far. Uh, he's just he's just a good to boost it. Really, Atlantean Attack Squad and the Guildmen are the two that power up the most. Uh, this soldier can power up too. I mean, he's already an 1800 base attack, so that's, that's good. <clears throat> Hammer Shark, I mean, they're all powerful. All of them will be boosted up, and you won't have any problems with this deck. Uh, Galaxy Cyclone, just for more insurance uh, for back row, you can just target a set, spell a trap, and that comes in handy against uh, Amazon Onslaught. See Stealth Attack, it's, I mean, it's just, it's a great card, you have to have it. And then when it's in your grave, let's say they get around the Onslaught somehow, or they have a face-up Onslaught on the field, activate this from the graveyard, and then target a face-up spell or trap and destroy it. And you just banish this from the graveyard to do that. So it's pretty pretty good. And then I run three Fire Formation Gyoku. You ha I play three because I do not want my opponent to activate any back row at all. I mean, you just clog their back row so where they can't even set anything. And then, bam, they're done. You just beat over their monsters. It's, it's just such a great card. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five back row remover in this. And I think that's enough. And then this activates twice, so that's technically six. And then I run two Legendary Ocean. You could probably knock this down to one or take it out completely. Like I said, I do run it because I have Abyss Soldier to make it level three. There is a build I would put in 
powerful rebirth, but if I put in two or three powerful rebirth, I would not be playing Gyoku. You just want to recycle your monsters. That's the point is just keep your monsters on the field and keep your opponent overwhelmed. But I like the idea of not letting them have any back row more than I do having the field flooded. That's my reasoning behind all this. If you guys have any comments or suggestions or concerns, just leave them down in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and go through some replays. So as you guys can see, it held its ground pretty well. I beat Amazonas, I think twice. I beat Fur Hires once or twice. And then I think somebody was about to play Vampires, but we got ahead of them before they could even really get the ball rolling. It's got its, it's got its pros, but the cons are pretty high as well. Don't expect to get past Platinum. If you can, that's great. If you guys enjoy the content, please subscribe and smash the thumbs up button. Thanks guys.